Greetings gamers. I have to make a little bit of an apology. Sorry for the small hiatus. My external hard drive got corrupted and I lost all of my footage. And it's taken me this whole time to get all the footage that me and Sheep had recorded on our modded series recovered. And so it's it's been a bit. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, you're probably wondering where I am right now. This is the new Smack SMP that I was invited to join from one of my old friends, Boom MC, from my Mind Rocket SMP days. We are currently doing a season zero for everybody to get to know each other. And yes, this is Bedrock. I have not played Bedrock since Mine Rock and SMP nearly two years ago. So I've been getting back in the groove of things here. Uh, I'm giving y'all a little sneak preview. I'm going to try to get some interviews with some of the other gamers that's going to be taking place. Uh, you're probably looking and noticing that these textures aren't the same. I'm using uh, a texture pack. I love the way the armor is on here. Uh, so this is actually my sheep and Twisted's area. I uh, drug them along. Not drug, but invited them. We have a quick tour of the iron farm I built. Now this is from Prowl. Uh, it's his unbreakable iron farm. There is 38 villagers. And it pumps out... A good amount of iron. I have all the poppies filtered for bone meal. It pumps out all the iron we need. And then another random collection chest for anything else that happens. Since we are in a jungle, we get parrots that fly in there. Wandering traders that spawn in there. And everything. So, a few little bamboo fields. We got jungle trees growing for wood. This is uh, my Emerald Pyramid. This is where I'd put my beacon. If I had one! Oh, uh, fighting the weather on Bedrock's a lot harder than it is on Java, so I, I, I have an attempt. No, I, I, I'm not going to just yet. I'm not geared up for it. I tried, and I got slaughtered. Uh, just a small nether warp field. Uh, this is, uh, the mass storage that, uh, sheep built. Uh, crop farms. Just something random. And our little brownie, the brown panda, was here day one when we got to this area. We still gotta make an enclosure. Uh, our outdoors enchantment area because we have not put it indoors yet and what do we do since we are going to be launching season one on 1.21 1 we do have the 1.21 experimental features on so you know these are the tough bricks however the texture pack does not have a texture for the tough bricks yet so uh but this is our librarian station so we have our libraries right here librarians in here we've got room for more up top if we need them and a sugarcane auto sugarcane farm in here that i just i built on here um so I, we've been playing on here getting to know some people also still running you know our hollowed kingdoms java modded smp as well as recording still we recorded new footage, uh, but was trying to wait until I could get everything recovered to show y'all instead of y'all having a huge gap of about four episodes worth of stuff that was missing. And so I apologize. I'm not sure what happened. You know, shout out to the people at Seagate. They have a recovery system, and they were able to help me get every bit of it recovered and uncorrupted. And 
So that being said, I don't want to waste any more time dragging on this video more than what it's going to be because my videos seem to be long when it comes with sheep because we do so much stuff. So, hope y'all enjoy. I hope y'all come back and see everybody here on Smack. Uh, Twitch and stuff's in the background, matter of fact. Above the trees there, you can see her double-layered mob grinder that she built. Uh, I'll let her give you a tour of the stuff she built here when I do my interview video with her. So, that being said, I hope you enjoy. Welcome back, and uh, have fun. Okay, as y'all saw, that Aether video was a short one. Simple, about 25 days. Not like we've been doing, but we spent over an hour in the Aether, and honestly, we thought that that episode would be a lot longer. And we couldn't figure out what to do, and we didn't want to do a lot of filler time. They already seen you naked. I know. And, and since we're teammates, let me tell you, you, you know how you normally, when you crouch, you don't see people's names? Look, when I crouch, look at me. Since we're teammates, your name still displays, even when you're crouched. Yep. So, you can't hide from the viewers anymore behind me. Even if you're crouched, they're going to see your name tag. But anyway, so that was a shorter video. So, we're going to make another short video. Uh, well, I say shorter, but we still spent over an hour in the Aether, but we didn't want to put a lot of filler in it. We felt that that was a good place to end with what little cleanup and stuff that we did around the base. And we're back here at Spawn, the place where we started it all. And as you see, I have a solid ender eye. Now this solid ender eye is part of Cyclic. And it's an unbreaking eye of ender. So y'all know what we're about to do. The inaugural throw. Oh, there we go. We are going southeast. Now, I'll, I'll try to go at a little bit of a slower speed. I had to take my uh, sonic boots off. You don't have to walk, but you know. Oh, you know what? Now I get lost in them. Now I get lost in a wet paper bag with holes in it. <sighs> Yeah, and we got your Johnny on the spot here. <laughs> he went flying. You getting a little slow in that old age there. Yeah. I had all them taken out of before you could even get into commission. Destructive iron pickaxe. Interesting. Okay. Okay. And it's still a going. Let's go ahead and throw over. over. Okay. Um. I guess we're going underwater. I guess so. I'm kind of hoping I'd find. Why is it not letting me break, break blocks? Do you see this? Yeah, you're all over the place. Yeah, but you see, it's not letting me break these blocks. I was stuck. I was well. I was stuck in a swimming animation. Okay, here we go. We got a little bit of a cave and no water, which will make it a lot easier. And actually, 
there is a spider spawner. Uh, that is my silk touch anyway, so yeah, a spider spawner. When you when you know we have to get a spider spawner. Well, know what? Holy moly. Do not come down here. Huge, uh, really huge cave. And quite frankly, I'm going to attempt an MLG. I got a water bucket on me. I just put water down. We just no. I got. Down the way you ain't gonna... I'm going to try. I got a totem, so you know what? What's the harm? We. Well, I landed it, uh, but I didn't land the MLG. But I still didn't take enough damage to die. So, and the. Uh, the uh, library of the stronghold is exposed. So, uh, and there's an apotheosis. Yep. There was an apotheosis uh, spawner over here. Oh, and we yes, we are in deep dark too. So, I'm going. Over here to the library because the armor trim is guaranteed to be in the library. But then again, oh yeah, that's the SMP. I've already got this one. I gotta find out where that library is. Uh, where I'm at. I mean, I found the, uh... Behind you, behind portal. you. I found the portals right there. Yeah, I know. I saw the portal, too. I just wanted to get into the library first to get the two chests. Ah, okay. I mean, eye armor trim guaranteed. You didn't silk touch the spawner, did you? The silverfish? Yes. I didn't. Uh, what am I going to do with you? Should I have? Well, yeah, because if we got any more, if we got any spawner eggs with capturing, we could have turned it into a different spawner. Not that we don't have enough spawners already. I am a little curious. Um, yeah. Let's see, stop where you're at. Let's see here. 650. A hundred blocks uh, south of your location, naked. Guess what? Uh -huh. What? Ancient city. Wow. And no, Mr. Fox, we will not be turning this into an ancient city video. We will return here. I do have a waystone to put down in the portal room. So, and there's like two good sized mine shafts around here. But yeah, I, I was going to manipulate the map, but I don't have to because since we're so low, the portal is clearly visible. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, I need to set, set a spawn point. Kind of forgot that. We all. Hey, the uh, doctor, you don't win in, ain't you? Uh huh. What's up? I was going to tell you that the lava that's supposed to be on the sides, actually part of the uh, whatever 
filled the lava box in with wood. Yeah, I filled it. I filled them in actually. Oh, okay. Well, I did not expect that tower to go out. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. I didn't bring any glass bottles to get the dragon's breath. Enderman, I know y'all are angry at me and y'all want to shoot me. Go right ahead, but... Oh, you can't shoot through the gate. Uh, -uh I'm not that. I'm not that MLD. I just got this one over here. This gate one, so. I can shoot to the bottom corner of it, but I can't. Well, that's one that it didn't hit it. Yeah, I, I shot it. I'll be honest. That's the first time I've been able to successfully take out the uh, cage crystal with a bow. So, come on, quit running away. Come on. There we go. And I just can't hide it. I remember when Jesse made that big deal. That was not hard. And again, we have apotheosis. Yep. That's why, you know... I've not ever seen one on the main island. I've ran into them on the outer islands before. Oh, I did just get... That's nothing. We do have immersive ores. I just found Enderium. Yeah, we do. That's why I can't understand the whole... Gotta get that, you know... Set up. I mean... I know I got some killer gear right now, but... Still, I, I don't think it's that killer. And that was me missing over half the shots. I shot with a bow, so. Mm -hmm. Well, at least, at least this one's not. Uh... Yeah. 
You know, you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, I was already doing that. And I still don't think I actually started far enough back. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely did not start far enough back. You're going to have to go up two blocks on each step. I've done that completely freaking wrong. Yep, I've done that completely wrong. Okay, um, waypoint return. Yep, um, need to. Ooh. What are these flying jellyfish things? I need to get some coarse. Flowers while I'm here. Oh, we got a few interfages over here. I was lining up my <laughs> shot. You you came over there where I was trying to get this stuff done. I'm trying to figure out what those manta flying manta ray things are. I seem to be doing is pissing off creepers. Where's your yeah, Enderman? Where's your F and hit box? And they literally go through in stones. I don't. I don't think you can hit them. I, no, I, was, I just hit one, and it, the arrows bounced off. Oh, this is a massive city. Uh. Oh, I barely made that. I had a few blocks, but not much. I'll let you take this uh, elytra. I'll take the next one. What the heck my sword go? Son of a 
Uh, intricate netherite sword of the sun. Is that it? Yeah. I have it apparently. I guess you accidentally uh, hit your king, uh -huh. or when the shulkers yeah. had when the shulkers must have had disarming on it. Because these these things are teleporting like a. SOB the second you get close to them. That's why I was trying to use my bow to fight from a distance just to possibly get some shells, but not having no luck. They keep teleporting before I can get to them to try to get any shells off of them. I don't know what's in what's gotten into all these shulkers. You know what? I have no idea. There's a brutal boss at the top of this one tower. Y'all yeah, go ahead and rise me to the top. I mean, the second I get a bead on one with my bow, they teleport. Stone towers, positive. <laughs> Can't do parkour around it, and it's, it's throwing me down every time. There is literally a regenerating slime creature. Ouch. I tell you what, I nearly popped a totem. I nearly popped my totem. He was not alright. I got Spire Armor Trim. Ooh, extra health skill page. God. Oh, I got a parkour up there. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Extra health. I just gave myself another six hearts. What's up with these shulkers? A berz berserking netherite axe of the bull.
I don't know what did what to this AI, these shulkers, but man, it is so messed up. Uh, good for you. I got floated up, so figured I'd just go ahead and end the pearl over here since I got floated up on top of the uh, roofs. Yeah, I told you I was letting you have the first one, so. I am showing why I'm not I am showing all the reasons why I'm not a good Minecraft player right now. And it is hilarious. Wow, what's up? The way I keep missing ender pearls. I'm whiffling my jumps. Okay, you got the dragon head. That's good. Yes, made sure I got that. Huh. And I have gotten two uh, ender uh, ender chest. Oh. That's something. I got the helium flamingo. Yeah, I got one of those. And that extra heart skill page. Yeah, that's you. New. Yeah, that's one of the newer skills they've added. And you level that stuff up. I'm already at 34 hearts now, and I was at 25. So uh, yeah, I've, I've done. I've done leveled up. Well, hey, we're going to need all the health we get when we get to that giant tree again, okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. We're going to need everything for the giant tree. Now, you want the good, the bad, or you want the ugly of the situation? I guess give me the ugly first. Okay, well, um, since we're technically at this in city, you know, I can't use the uh, 
compass to find another end city and to where probably at least 5,000 blocks away from this one. So we have to travel manually to find an end city now. Oh boy. Yeah, until we oh, get. I'm up, to, I'm, up to, uh, I'm up to level 20. Not 20, but 11. I don't know what oh, level. I don't know what level I'm on. <sighs> Get that achievement out of the way. Ooh, flying Weird. enderfish. Yeah, there's all kind of flying enderfish out here. Huh. I'm coming over there to you. I think I just see them. Yeah. Cosmic cods. Here's ooh. Here's an end city. Doesn't can't see a ship yet, but it's got a treasure room. I don't know if I'm going to try to go after the treasures the way these, uh... Yeah, there's no ship. This is a baby one. I don't know if I want to try to go after the treasures. Okay, that's a lot of fighting. Okay. Of course, these are protected by a Brutal Boss Shulker. And until we defeat the Shulker, Brutal Boss, we can't open up one of these chests. And that, that SOB is teleporting all over the place. The other one, you try to open it, it'll tell you you gotta defeat the... Oh, there it is, right there in the middle. And it keeps teleporting outside. It, it keeps teleporting outside. Come on, open your damn shell. That's the only thing I hate about shulkers. When their shell is closed, arrows do nothing. Not the brutal boss you didn't. I got a shoulder. Yeah, well you gotta get the brutal boss for that one. And he is, <laughs> He's right under me, but he's not inside. And even if he was He's teleporting around. Uh, this is going to be uh, a no-go on this chest. With the way these shulkers are all teleporting like crazy. 
There's no way because that brutal boss will not stay in steel. Uh, that sucks. Fucking shulker! It. What the fuck? Oh no! I don't have my sword anymore. Uh, that damn mimic took it. I got it. Yeah, that's what happens. He mimics take your stuff. Uh, I don't. I think we just need to. Probably abandon this, so. Uh... Yeah, I think so too. Alright, I, I, I'm running out. I, I'm leaving, I'm running away. Uh, when you I'm get us. When you give me a second, drop my sword. what it is is mimic creams are taking our weapons and then when we kill it the other person picking them up <laughs> from a magnet all there you go power uh, it's a big city though so surely. Oh God! No, no ship. <laughs> well, do we try to raid it for some treasure, or do we just pass it on by? What do you think? R try to get treasure, or just pass it on by? <laughs> get away into a page. I don't want to be down with the sickness again. Come on, come on get down with the sickness. Come on, get down with this. But yeah, so um, just, uh, you know, 1,500 blocks across the void. And once we get there, dude, I'm not going to have the food to be able to fight. Look, once we get there, once we get there, it's going to be... I will go and, uh, yeah, it'll be once we get there, I will pillar up to the end ship, steal the elytra, and get out of there. Okay, hold on. City, but this city has no ship. There's no ship. There is no ship. No ship. Don't you said it does, according to Chuck Bates. Oh, good God. Uh-uh. Mother Drake, that is a phantom. Uh, 
I think I'm going to go see Yeah, it's a phantom, all right. No, no, no. Oh, man. All, all the phantom drop was a Fortune 6 shovel. Can you imagine how much yeah. sweat you're going to get with a Fortune 6 shovel? Four, oh no, no, sorry, it's Fortune 4, Grow 3, Efficiency 6. And then uh, pill her up to the ship. That's going to be fun. As I'll get out. I have it in my backpack. I, yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I'm equipping that mother right now. I just put on my invisibility cape. Let's right. see if a let's see if a shulker sees me, because I do not want to get hit by a shulker while I'm pillaring above the void. I might be able to actually kill these shulkers a lot easier now with me being in my invisible form. They might not see me coming. And therefore, I can actually attack them. No issue. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hiding in the bottom of the fortress right now. Healing up. Um, you stupid things. Come on, come on, come on. God bless him, mimic creams. One of them bumped into me, and as soon as they did, it caught me on fire. And since I'm on fire, you can be seen. Now, apparently, they can see you regardless. Oh, ain't that lovely, lovely? Man, my armor is taking a beat. My helmet's down to eighty seven percent. Great, now I got tender flu. Oh, don't eat too much of the cosmic fish. It will give you ender flu. Oh man, I wasn't like really planning on eating any of the cosmic fish, but 
Hey, that's, you know, that's good to know. <laughs> I needed food. <laughs> We could always put a waste on here and come back to this city if you wanted to. I don't even want to be at the don't city. The what? Don't you, uh, don't you need purple blocks? Well, purple blocks you can get. Purple blocks you can get from uh, smelting chorus fruit. Make four pop chorus, yeah. and it makes so. And I've got in stone, and I got flower chorus flowers, so I can grow my own. So okay, just asking. Technically, I I won't need to. Oh, just figured I'd ask. Now again, that's a technically don't need to situation. But it doesn't. We want to build a uh, in-house. I mean, yeah, we'll definitely build an in-house, but I'd still want it to be a little bit away from a city. Otherwise, all we're going to do is teleport into a mess of stuff. Yeah. So it, it's a good oh, idea. Oh, go ahead. So it is a good idea, but I mean, it's just one of those. Yeah, it's gonna be the very risky thing of, especially with the mimics being here and stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Oh, another short video for y'all. Uh, I know it seems like two back-to-back -back short videos, but especially with my health still recovering, there we didn't want to take on a big project, but I guarantee our next one's going to be a bigger project. So keep in store. But we wanted, you know, while I was recovering, to have a little bit better, smaller stuff to do. So that being said, you know, y'all saw our adventures in the end, how long it took us to uh, both be able to get our first Electras, and I don't know what is going on with the Shulkers in this game, why they teleport so much, but, you know, Naked, your opinion on the Shulkers? They suck. <laughs> and yes, we are in our YouTuber room, and, oh, well, darn, who's that handsome-looking YouTuber right there on display? He looks familiar. Oh, shucks. I don't have a YouTube channel. Well, I don't see nobody on... I don't see no display for you, so I'm talking about this, this handsome fella in this display case right here. I mean, that, that, that skin's just amazing. Now, that being... handsome fella, I think he's the one over here. Oh, the anime girl? Okay, yeah, that, that that's fine. <laughs> But uh, that being said, no, I, I'm not displaying myself here. I was just using this as a little bit of a standstill because that way I wouldn't have to actually place them down. I'd just have to change the name. So, no, I'm not keeping myself. I, I'm not that vain. No, we have Radical Elder. Now, I don't know how many of y'all know about Radical Elder. Honestly, he only has 33,000 subscribers. But the stuff he's doing right now in his hardcore world, I absolutely love. I mean, he's one of those, he's only been on... Uh, was seen for about two years. He's currently 13 episodes into his current uh, hardcore world. And for those who have been on my SMP, as you see, this is where I got the love for the Compass Rose designs. This is his Compass Rose that he built in episode five. And you can see the detail on it. The just the amazing spot. It, it it's Truly, truly amazing. 
like I said, he, he is unfortunately not, you know, that big. And unfortunately, because these signs are also not that big, uh, I'm going to split his name up into two lines. Uh, but yes, like I said, he's only got 33,000 subscribers, but, you know, he is still awesome at what he does. As you, this design was actually based on his castle wall gate, or city gate that he built, and it, he's doing a lot of awesome stuff. Uh, go check him out. Join, subscribe to him, because he is doing really good. Now, that being said... Our little Hall of Fame is starting to gather out. And who knows, we might surprise you with a, a duo next time. Uh, let's see. Well, we'll go back over to Sanchez's place. You know, last episode, why Chief was working on his little project, I did this. Well, while I was working on my project for this episode, which I will show y'all here in a minute, uh, Nike was working on our Aether portal, which he failed to relight. So, I'm surprised you didn't actually. I'm surprised you didn't make the portal any bigger than what the standard size was. I didn't think you could. That's why I didn't. Honestly, I don't know, but I got one bucket of water. Oh, you already... <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Uh, you got this ice stone. If you place water next to ice stone, it freezes the water. Oh, okay. The more you know. <laughs> yeah. But he did, he did a, a good job. He, he's used some of the air clouds that we got. You know, he's used some of the aerogel walls. and he, He's done a pretty good job out here. Like he always does. Uh, on to my project. My, mine was a little bit more labor intensive. Uh, actually, Naked actually has not even seen it yet. Uh, but it's, as the name might suggest, it is an Enderman farm. Now, he's going to make his way over here. But the hoppers will pick up everything that does drop, unless our magnets do. Uh, I've got a... I got a water wheel below that will pick up the skill pages that will, you know, store skill pages, spawn eggs, or ender pearls. But if our magnets pick up anything, such as backpacks, apotheosis gems, or in the case of this diamond backpack right here, this is all gear that I picked up with my magnet while I was over here, and there's a backpack right there on that enderman. Um, I'm going to turn my magnet off if you want to have some fun. While he's doing that, I'm going to take y'all into free cam. Um, you know, we've got a little simple water wheel in here to uh, power that hoppers going in. Uh, these are cosmic cods. They are from Alex's mobs, so they float around here. I used, you know, in blocks, and then of course up here. Whoop. You're not going to be able to see the name tag on him, but this is Flea, the Endermite. Now, nobody on my channel will know who Flea is. However, if I have any of my Bedrock fans out there still watching, uh, from my old Bedrock realm. Shout out to the Revered Dominion people out there. Um, when I ran my realm, that is what we always named the Endermite, was Flea. It's quite funny when people accidentally got killed and it'd pop up in chat they were killed by a flea. It was, it was hilarious, so... 
you know, I decided to bring that little bit of nostalgia from my Bedrock Realm days over here. Now, I guess I'll help him thin the herds a little bit. This farm works very spectacular. The only issue you have is when they do spawn with the backpack is the fact that it uh does take forever Ooh, dude I have got a murderous netherite axe of the berserker yeah you, you get I mean I just picked it oop, I actually threw my netherite axe in there yeah I just picked up some more uh, netherite gear and the, all this stuff is like OP destructive shovel of grasping and everything yeah, so this, this thing's got three empty sockets it does 16 and a half attack damage um does but, my sword. but we've got this little chest right here because you know we're collecting a lot of endermen heads we don't need that the chest will empty the stuff back out in the belt and then the belt will eat anything we don't want into the void as long as your magnet's turned off so you don't re-pick it up. Um, these little things right here are ender inhibitors. I probably placed more than I needed. But what these do, these prevent endermen from teleporting. So, uh, yeah. And if you really, really wanted to be daring, you could actually stand on the very edge of this and eat yourself. And there's the main end island. Now, I know a lot of people will dig down and they'll build theirs at you know zero but as long as you're far enough away from the end island you don't need to as you see this farm is very effective and it's built at well we're on half slabs so it's technically built at y55 but as you see it is still very very effective now that being said I'm going to go back to Starter Cove. And let's pass the time. Alright, it's daytime. I have one last thing to show y'all. And I, I am very, very excited about this. As y'all saw, you know, as we were going through the Aether, we collected some things. And as you see, Naked used some of the air clouds to recreate clouds around the Aether portal. We, we've got to connect the path. We haven't done that yet. But I built this little building. And one cool thing is, you can't see it's a day. This quick soil glass you get from the Aether actually produces light. So that, that's amazing. I have a little frame door here. So, you know, the door kind of blends in. You know, we got this. But right here you have these blue air clouds. Now, what's different about the blue ones is they're bouncy. They are basically slime. So I'm going to go into first person. And I am going to walk into it. And yay! It, I have made a launcher to be able to launch me into the air so then I can glide through the world. And as you see, it's, it, it's pretty decent. I mean, you can get some good range on it. Whee! And boom. Into the storage I am. Now, I am surprised I was able to fly like that without, you know, uh... Crashing as bad as I, I, I crash. Um, naked, still working on trying to get this stuff moved and organized. Um, he's been doing a lot of beautifying projects here lately. Uh, I won't say he's slacking because he's not, honestly. 
I don't want him to have, I didn't want him taking the full brunt of having to do all the storage on his own while I was sick. And so yeah, I, I let him have some fun doing some build and decorating and stuff uh, because I figured that was fair. We ouch. So you let me. <laughs> <laughs> he knows I got to pick on him. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, he, he's done an amazing job, though. Uh, but that being said, that that's everything. I know technically we've got about, uh, we got about nine minutes before we can sleep. And honestly, I don't want to just jibber jabber for nine minutes. Uh, I know some of this is going to be cut out, but the outro so far is already at 14 minutes. And, uh, so, yeah, uh, there's no reason to force y'all to stay here for another eight minutes just so we can sleep like we normally do to end the episode. So, I'm just going to say bye right now. Like, share, subscribe, Discord in the bottom, make sure you check it out, and come back. Like I said, we had two short videos for two short adventures but that got me over this little hump and got us revitalized ready for our next build and the next build is crazy because I have laid out an, a challenge for sheep I am testing his building and I am pushing him to his limits however if he can complete my challenge our next project <laughs> I have to take on his challenge. So, uh, we're, we're, we're trying to push each other to our boundaries and make ourselves better. So, uh, we'll see what happens. So, make sure you tune in and stick around. That being said, I'm Toxic Terror. I'm Naked Sheep. And he wasn't even looking where the camera is, but that's okay. Because uh, he never does. <laughs> but, that being said... See y'all in the next one.